Hello, Pro Libertad allies and supporters. This is Ben Ramos bringing you your first episode of Pro Libertad TV for the year 2020. Happy New Year's. I hope everyone is doing well. We in Pro Libertad are going to be putting some serious energy into making sure that this channel stays alive. We launched it about last year and we cut, put up a couple of videos. This year, we're making this channel something that is extremely organic. It is going to be active. It's going to be militant. It is going to be a wonderful source of quick information for all of you on YouTube on the work that we do do to free the Puerto Rican political prisoners and for the independence of our nation, Puerto Rico. I am holding up the front page of El Coqui Libre, which is Pro Libertad's monthly newsletter. Puerto Rican political prisoner Nina Dros Franco is free is in Puerto Rico. She's not free just yet, brothers and sisters. She's no longer in her penitentiary in Florida, but she is now in a halfway house in Puerto Rico. And in a few weeks in February, she will be done with her sentence. So brothers and sisters, familia, I am bringing you this video. Quick channel update. Like I said, we will be providing you about at least one new video per month. It'll maybe be an interview. Maybe it'll be a recording of a Pro Libertad event. Maybe it'll be a channel update. Maybe it'll be a campaign update. It'll be something for you to watch 10 to 12 minutes max. Um, to, today's episode is going to be very much focused on our sister here, Nina Dros, one of our Puerto Rican political prisoners. Nina is still in the halfway house. And like I started saying before, she is going to be released um, in February. Familia, I am making this video partly because Pro Libertad is supporting Nina's family and support committee in Puerto Rico in raising funds, funds through their GoFundMe account. You have to understand something. When someone leaves prison, there's a lot of costs when it comes to parole, probation. There's transportation. There's medical bills. There's uh, surviving on a day-to-day -day basis. There's buying food. There's dealing with um, uh, just the common everyday toiletries. Everything and anything costs money. And Nina just got out of prison. Will just you know, will be transitioning out of her halfway house and needs our financial support. I know that right now Puerto Rico is in the midst of another humanitarian crisis. Of course, this is a manifestation of our colonial crisis. Um, and a lot of us are really sending money to earthquake relief work. And some of us are buying donations. Some of us are sending money to every earthquake relief GoFundMe that you can find. Right now, I'm going to ask you to dig up another five, ten, twenty, fifty, a hundred dollars from somewhere, especially those of us in the diaspora, and to send it to our sister Nina. The transition into civilian life is not easy, and her family and friends and support committee in Puerto Rico have established a GoFundMe. I'm going to link that in the description box below. Nina needs our support right now. She she needs our support because she does not have an easy transition into civilian life. As many of us should know through a lot of some of the videos we did last year and through our Pro Libertad website updates that Nina dealt with a lot of medical issues while she was in jail. And now those medical issues are being dealt with um, now that she's in the halfway house. And these medical costs are not easy. The cost of living in Puerto Rico is not easy. There's a lot of a need for money. And I'm just making this quick off the top video to all of you to, to ask that we dig in deeper. Familia en la diaspora, brothers and sisters that are supporters and allies, if we can dig up $5, $10 and send it to that GoFundMe account, that will help her significantly. Uh, Pro Libertad has produced several email blasts. We've done several social media mini videos. I did a Facebook live on this and now I'm using the YouTube channel, our subscribers and hopefully new people to subscribe, uh, to motivate new people to subscribe that we need to support our sister Nina Dros. Again, I'm going to link the GoFundMe link in the description below. Please try to see what you can do to help support. Again, I know a lot of our money is being tied up in earthquake relief and that is extraordinarily important. I also need us to remember that our sister's transitioning into civilian life, which is not easy. And she has elderly parents that she's going to be relying on and friends and family that are already dealing with the current economic realities 
of colonialism in Puerto Rico, which has made the cost of living in Puerto Rico, the taxation in Puerto Rico, and the whole economic scheme extremely difficult. I need you to dig in deep. Please check out that GoFundMe account. You can go to the Pro Liberta website, proliberta.org, and we have several links to the GoFundMe. Um, if the link in the, in the description box doesn't work, um, our website is going to be up here somewhere. Um, please make sure that you try to give and give generously. Familia, like I said, we're going to be a lot more active on this channel. And I want you to subscribe. I want you to share. I want you to leave a comment. I want you to push our videos outward as much as you can. We are going to be doing a lot with this channel. And it's going to be an extraordinary year. Pro Libertad is focusing on a lot of educational activities throughout this year to raise funds and awareness for our other political prisoner, Ana Belen Montes, our Puerto Rican prisoner of conscience, I should say. And um, we're dedicating this year to raising money for her early release. She'll be released sometime early in 2022. Um, sometime around this time in 2022, she'll be making her transition out. And the campaign is now no longer really focused on calling for her liberation because we do have that that early release, somewhat of a date, but an early release time. So now we're helping in building a transition for Ana Belen, a financial transition. Again, this is going to be a woman who's going to be 64, 65 around that period of time. And um, she's going to need a lot of support as well. So we've got Nina for this year. And then in the next couple of months and the next year or so, uh, doing fundraising for Ana Belen. So it's going to be extraordinary as we see our sisters behind the walls transition out. Folks, I've been talking a lot. Uh, check out the Pro Libertad website. Please click the link to the GoFundMe for Nina Dross. Pro Libertad allies and supporters. Again, this is your video for January. Expect one in February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. We are going to keep this channel alive. Maybe a couple of times in between videos, there'll be little spot things that occur that get uh, produced. You'll get uh, notifications on that, so make sure you click the notification bell. Leave a comment below. Como siempre, que viva Puerto Rico libre. Free the Puerto Rican political prisoners. Free them all. Gracias. As always, check out the Pro Libertad website for more updates and news on the Puerto Rican political prisoners and our latest campaigns. Go to www.prolibertad.org.